Hey there, today's travel tip video is going to teach you what to pack for a river cruise. I'll show you everything that I have been wearing. I am presently on my river cruise down the Danube. I'll show you the little travel essentials that I'm so glad that I packed. I'll show you some things that my husband packed that were fantastic and convenient. <laughs> my goal is to give you an overview of what I packed so you can go through your things, eliminate what you do not need to pack, and then make sure that you've got all the bases covered. Here's a travel strategy when you need to pack for a river cruise. You're going to do this. Number one, check the weather, compare it with number two, your excursions that you are planning on doing. So far, two of ours have gotten canceled because of so much rain. Number three, you're going to see what shoes you absolutely must pack for those river cruise excursions. Then from there, you can pack what pants or trousers that you must have for that excursion if it is raining or if it is super windy. We did not consider the wind, and today I was pretty cold. For my outerwear, I only packed my raincoat because inside a restaurant, inside the cruise ship, I am fine with a t-shirt and a thin, like, regular sweater okay my first thought was to remove the hood and just pack my raincoat like this because it was 97 degrees when we left and then a an umbrella but i am so glad that i had my hood i can cinch it closed and it was windy blowing rain so i'm so glad i had that we thought near the last part of the trip it was going to be in the mid 70s so my husband packed like five pairs of shorts i don't know if he'll even use one of them he did not pack a coat. One travel tip that was essential for my husband is to pack pullovers that are thin. He loves the pullovers because that's easy to throw on for guys and you look suitable if you're in a um, somewhat dressy atmosphere. So we went to H&M and he bought this uh, water repellent, a little down jacket. The first day of your trip, you're going to be arriving to the cruise ship. So whatever that outfit is, be strategic with that outfit. I wore my gray denim. Gray denim is so neutral and versatile for wearing with multiple tops. You're going to arrive exhausted probably. You're going to run to your room and then go have lunch or hang out on the cocktail area. You're going to be received by the crew and go straight to dinner and cocktail hour and then do a game or some kind of listen to music at night. So you're going to be in that outfit pretty much all day or all afternoon and evening. As a pilot wife family, we've been packing an only carry-on suitcase. So we have to pack for over two weeks and only carry on luggage. And that sent me into panic mode because I could not check the weather for the last few days before I packed. So I was traveling through two different climates, okay? I had 90 degree, 80 degree weather. And then presently we're in 45 degrees and pouring rain and wind <laughs> type conditions. Here's my travel sized umbrella that I'm so glad I traveled with. It fits in my crossbody bag. It fits in my raincoat pocket. It's very easy to use and it has been strong for several trips to Europe. I love a crossbody bag that has a light colored interior because you're going to have your umbrella maybe, your sunglasses, reading glasses case, your RFID wallet that is attached to the little hook there with just the right amount of cards that you need. For a river cruise specifically, you are going to need easy access to your key card from your cabin because that is how you go in and out of the river cruise and they can track if you have made it back on before they leave that docking station. So make sure your crossbody bag has that. A nice little pocket for euros would be great when you're traveling around and just buying little things. We have been probably 50-50 for having to pay to use the toilets over here. Some of them are free, some of them require 50 cents or euros. My husband is the one that travels with our leftover euros from throughout the years. During a river cruise, if you're going to be doing an all-day excursion, a power bank or portable cell phone charger is fantastic to just slide into your purse in case your battery dies. I'm interrupting this video to tell you that our river cruise down the Danube was not 
anything like anything ever before. They have had record flooding. We have only, we've never seen land while sailing. We've sailed like five hours one night and like three hours another night. And presently we are docked in Bratislava near Vienna with 16 other Viking River cruise boats and other companies. Some have totally canceled their trip. So just be prepared <laughs> for that and be prepared for disappointment. The government authorities closed the entire river. So we were just at their whim or whatever. Almost every one of our excursions that we paid for has been canceled and refunded, of course, or given us boat credit for that cost that we had incurred because I did not know the weather forecast before I packed, since we did the trip beforehand to Italy, I feel like I severely underpacked. I would have packed more rugged shoes because I was telling Kathy, a viewer I met on this ship, that the cobblestones are big and they're separated from each other. So you've got like a dip in between every stone. I wish I had brought tennis shoes with a rugged sole or like a wider sole. I love traveling with these little bags. They just hold all the tiny essentials that you need, like a hair clip and then band-aids or these doctor somebody little things that are waterproof. And when you peel them off, they're stretchy. So they're easy to use in the last four days, even after you've taken a shower. Another tip that I learned to share with you is we ordered like a chimney cake in Budapest, which is like a churro street food, and there were no bathrooms nearby. So we needed a wet wipe because our hands was all, were all sticky. I make sure that I move my eye drops for the long flight and a little bitty container of lotion, Gold Bond for diabetics, because it's super thick, not greasy, and not fragrant. Um, and I will move those two things into my tote bag or my flight pouch. I have a whole video about a long flight. I also have a video about um, 11 long flight outfits that are actually comfortable. One of the things that we wore, and I just found these in August, is these water repellent hiking pants, or you can look for golf pants. This little clip that can cinch it in the summer if you want it to, um, is streamlined with your leg. But these are the smoothest that I have ever had. They're not loud, they're not thick, um, they're not crunchy if that makes sense. And of course they have the really elastic waist and the large, no, actually the medium in this one fit me better than the large. So they're pretty true to size. I did know that it was going to be near the 70s. So I forgot to pack a razor since I'm in shorts today and will be tomorrow. I should have packed a razor because we've been gone two weeks. If you shop at Costco, the Jerry with a G brand are my husband's favorite. It seems like they've always had those available when we've gone shopping. They are like men's hiking pants, but they look dressy. This is what he is really glad he had. He calls it his yoga pants, okay? Because one afternoon or one morning, you're going to be exhausted because you're going, going, going all throughout your river cruise. You want a day or a few hours in the afternoon or something to just relax in bed, watch the water, look at the view. These are super cozy and they're Tommy John. I'll link everything in the first comment or in the paragraph below for you. It will probably pop up unless it's Amazon. I cannot make Amazon products pop up in the bottom left corner, but that is the shopping link for that specific item. Just so you know, it's not spam. One thing I needed today, and I didn't pack, my husband packed it, are these super slim line nail clippers. I actually got a pair for my brother. Like, look how skinny they are. For my toenails, I'm not gonna paint, I'm not gonna cut my fingernails, but when I get a pedicure before a long trip like this, um, there is something about my pinky toenail that I have to clip off the corner because it starts cutting into my toe and goes wee, wee, wee all the way home. <laughs> I also packed my prescription shampoo and to prevent leaks just over a long flight, um, I use these things. The only problem is they come in like 12 or eight and you don't need that many, um, but it did do a good job. I don't know if it would have, leaked or not. One travel tip strategy for river cruise packing is to read their website. I did not read their website for this ship. 
when you get when you find out what ship you're going to be on this is the viking tour i don't think it's going to be all around anymore because it's already 10 years old but it is like brand new not even smelly moldy musty at all everything is spick and span clean however i did not read that they have uh, regular outlets like u.s outlets and then they also have the european type which is what adapters fit because we have so many electronics we need adapters to plug our items into i'll show you you have to plug your items into an outlet and then that adapter for that country or continent will fit the holes of their outlet okay here's a quick tip for a converter or adapter if you're packing your curling iron or hair dryer from the united states you will need a converter to plug your curling iron or hair dryer into and then that converter bulky and big gets plugged into an adapter some of the converters come with one adapter so that means you can only plug in one of your electronic things in the whole entire room so that's why i like these type of adapters that have multiple uh, outlet for convenience i bought at home on amazon can't pop it up it'll be in the front comment a dual voltage so i can use this in an adapter in the outlets for europe because this does not need a converter since it's dual voltage so that may be worth the investment a lot of people say just buy it when you're there but i don't know what store is going to have it if they're going to have the width of the curling iron that i need so that's my tip laundry on board river cruise ships is expensive but we used it we paid over a hundred dollars because we were here five days before the river cruise actually started a tide ink pen if you have any kind of a stain oh I dropped the soup. I bought myself a first class ticket over here. I dropped the tomato soup all over this shirt. This was my airplane shirt. And the lady there will clean it for you. But this will take out tomato sauce and blood. So this is an important travel essential for international trips or any kind of a travel. All right, I'll talk about some toiletry items that I'm really glad I brought. This liquids bag is pretty slimline. You can see it's not as bulky as my other one that I travel with in the U.S. Mousse. This is great mousse, aquage or whatever. I'll link it. This is one of my, my liquids bags that I bring when I travel in Europe. Since I'm bringing my prescription shampoo, that's one bottle of liquid that I do not have to pack in my liquids bag because medical items do not have to be packed in the liquids bag if they are for medical. Just check the rules for whatever country you're going to. Another travel tip for not packing liquids is to pack just a shampoo bar. I'm almost at the end of mine from Lush. It's lush.com. Um, and then this bag, is magical you can put a sopping wet shampoo bar or bar of soap in there roll it up it does not let the water leak out but it also dries out your shampoo bar or bar of soap so and it's not goopy afterwards love it if you're not a big makeup fan i suggest these two brushes they are pretty much the only ones you need one i don't know if you can see this is the kitten type paw or kitten paw type brush it is not only used for that area i use it for my whole eyelid do you see how much it covers so i can use like a base color i can use a lighter color just for a neutral streamlined look this is a great brush because of its shape and versatility i can use this for my foundation my tinted moisturizer cc cream i can use it for powder i can use it for bronzer even um, so it's a multi-use by only packing one and then when i get to my river cruise i just put all of my brushes in the little cups that are in the tiny tiny bathroom on viking ships this toothbrush if you haven't seen it it has air holes in it so once you take it out it does not budge okay it's very stiff but it folds up every time you use it and there are holes in it so i just throw that in the little cup in the bathroom too this is essential to me because i can leave it 
when I'm done with it. I can trash it. It's a, a face wash sponge that is thin like that. And then when I get it wet, it's like this. And it looks like a dish kitchen sponge. But when you wet it, it is so soft. They're a gentle way that I can brush off the mascara of my eyelashes without scrubbing them or without pulling the skin, if that makes sense. And they dry every day. All right, I brought some other things this time. I brought jewelry. I usually just do not travel with it. A little, a long necklace, a little short necklace, neutral jewelry, bracelets. Um, but this comes with another roll up thing that I did not bring, but it's a little protected. It doesn't totally squish. So that's easy to pack in a protected way. I packed all of my bracelets that I'm wearing right now in this little money pouch looking thing, but it holds a lot of things like uh, hydration packets, um, your sugar substitute packets, for example. And then I also have this for some other items. It's just really convenient, I have found. You can see that would fit in that way or vertically. One travel tip when you are packing liquids is to pack horizontally. It is just going to give you so much space. I learned it after 10 years. Don't pack your bottles vertically. You can pack more in and then save the small things for the top. All right. You basically do not want to see any space as you build inside that. I suggest a hanging toiletry kit. When you zip it up, it looks like a makeup pouch. Okay. The counter on our cruise ship is just not very large. The Avalon ship from April had a huge bathroom counter so I could like unpack. It's just easy to just toss in, not my makeup brushes, but toss in my foundation, eyeshadow, my powder, bronzer, stuff like that. And then I just keep my little medicine pack. I am really glad I brought this. For jet lag, after a flight, I will take a Tylenol and it just helps get me through the day. Um, and then Zyrtec, because you might be allergic to something that's growing in that part of the world. I'm really glad that I packed these kind of socks for my river cruise trip. I have so many different kinds, but I found by wearing these two shoes mostly, I need socks to cover the whole top of my foot, okay? And another thing that we realized is we wish we would have had slip on shoes for a river cruise trip because you're coming back to the room. You're going to relax for about 30 minutes and then you can go back. You don't really want to wear your shoes in the bed, like where you're just sitting on the bed, checking your email or reading. Um, so we wish that we had had like more slip on shoes. But these are water repellent. I've walked two days in these. They have arch support and the shoes do not get soaking wet. These shoes go really low, and so I have room for arch support. I don't have to have them, but because I'm going to be touring all day or a lot of hours, I pack these, and these are also very versatile in the spring and fall and summer because they go with almost everything. I packed my usual three-quarter length sleeve. These are my favorite t-shirts ever. I have sleeveless, I have three quarter long sleeve, uh, short sleeve. They drape your body. They can look dressy or casual. I have my exercise shirt that I have worn with these gray jeans and my exercise hiking pants that are so smooth. All right, this is a, my newest hack. These are the newest three quarter length sleeve sweaters from J. Jill. I love gray denim and oatmeal. It is such a pulled together look. Put a pop of bright scarf on, wear a black v-neck t-shirt underneath it so that it pops out a little bit and you are good to go. You're going to be warm under your jacket. They have such cute fall colors too. Oh, and that fabric is like silk and warmth. Here's an old t-shirt um, just for hanging out. It's very casual, even though you have three course meals for lunch, breakfast, and dinner. This is one of my favorite jackets, an athletic jacket. Just if you're sitting on the top deck, if it's a little breezy, the sunny day that you're allowed up there, we haven't been able to go up there at all. Here's my other dress. I wore my striped sweater with this one, and I just think 
striped sweaters are the way to go if you want to elevate an outfit. Oh my word, I love it. Here's the travel hack. I had it hemmed up to my knee and then I tied it just for a different look. This is a blouse. I'm also really glad that I brought my uh, little disposable eyeglass cleaners because you never know when you're going to get rain or more rain on your eyeglasses. Or you can do the wipes. Wipes do not count as liquids. All right, be sure to check the links below if you need more information on any of the items that I have shown. And good luck. You're going to have a blast. You're going to be exhausted and you're going to learn so much after your river cruise of what you really need and what is not really an essential. All right, thanks for your time.